Okay, so bear market, crypto winter, and Bitcoin going to zero. A lot of people fear fearful, they feel uncertain, and they also feel a lot of doubts at the moment. And that is understandable, especially with the price action we've seen in Bitcoin's price and also the stock market for the past month. But in today's video, I hope to change some minds with the information that I'm going to go through with you guys and also where things are going to be headed. Right now, the bare bone facts are that governments and institutions across the world are waking up and warming up to the idea of Bitcoin and also crypto. So stay tuned and certainly watch the very end. My name is Tom and this is Crypto Busy. If you're new to Crypto Busy and if you haven't seen a video like this, be sure to subscribe to Crypto Busy today. And also, if you'd like to, leave a like. It's very much appreciated. So let's jump into what's happening with the market. So right now, the market is in a bit of an inflection phase at the moment. We've seen Bitcoin tumble from $70,000 all the way down to around $30,000 in the space of two or three months. And that has caught a lot of people off guard. And people who haven't taken profits along the way are feeling the pain right now. Something that we've mentioned on this channel throughout the whole of 2021 is as much as there's been an amazing year for crypto and it's great and everything, do make sure you take some profits along on the way so well done for everyone who has managed to make some profits on the way and also just take even if it is 10 percent 20 percent of profits along the way it is super beneficial for when you see moments like this and we do make videos about buying the dip and also buying up old coins for when the inevitable trend reverse will happen again and then the same process happens of taking profits along the way so that is the first thing that the market right now is sort of in an inflection we're seeing some form of uncertainty in where bitcoin's price is going to be going we could be seeing bitcoin's price go lower we could be seeing bitcoin go below thirty thousand dollars but at that point when bitcoin hits thirty thousand dollars or goes below thirty thousand dollars that is when bitcoin becomes very very attractive to many institutions out there looking up to pick up some more bitcoin and so that is also something to be aware of there and so from that scenario you could be seeing bitcoin just dip below thirty eight thousand dollars or thirty thousand dollars excuse me thirty thousand dollars and then go from there all the way up to forty thousand dollars in the space of a day ten thousand dollar candles are still possible certainly in today's market there is still fear. As I said in the beginning of the video, there is still fear in the markets. This was actually extreme fear. And I would actually urge many people to look at this and understand where things are going to be going. Now, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but there's that famous quote, be fearful when others are greedy, being greedy when others are fearful. Right now, there's a lot of fear in the market. And right now, we're, we're greedy. We're greedy to pick up some more Bitcoin, to pick up some more crypto as well along the way because we see where things will be going and also looking into the technicals, looking into the fundamentals as well. There's a lot of good stuff. So all the articles we're going to go through in today's video, I'll leave links down in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves in much further detail. And also do comment down below whether you agree, whether you disagree with me and um, any feedback that you have for the channel, very much welcome as well. So Bitcoin Doji points towards bullish reversal as uh, Bitcoin holds 36,000 support. And so as you can see on the daily time frame right now on the ch on the crypto charts on Bitcoin chart here, you know Bitcoin is holding strong above $36,000. That is the key level. Uh, one key level that I've picked out for myself is the 35, you know, 600, 35, 500 there. Certainly the $35,000 region is a key level, a key psychological level that we talk about in our Crypto Busy Pro Trader course. But as you can see right now, there's sort of a, a weak uh, trend that you can see right now if you take into account these wicks if you uh take out this wick that's happened here that was sort of a crazy day of volatility if you take this sort of general trend of where things will be going for bitcoin it's holding quite strongly so we could be seeing bitcoin retest thirty six thousand. that is also possible but the way things are going especially with the things with things been going over the weekend and going into next week we could be seeing bitcoin retest forty thousand dollars that is the first key level in my opinion for myself considering changing my position from short-term bearish to short-term bullish long-term i'm always going to be bullish i wouldn't bet against this technology i'm not going to bet against something that was a line of code 13 years ago and now is legal tender in countries i wouldn't bet against a technology like that especially when going through the fourth industrial revolution so in the immediate short term things could be looking quite choppy especially in the immediate short term from the daily time frame on the four hours as well if we could see that trend reversal, then yes, $40,000 would be the next area of support for Bitcoin. And if we see a daily close above that, then $42,000 and then $46,000 from there. But that is the immediate short term. If we do see a break below $35,000, then another retest of $30,000 is certainly on the cards. So if we have a look at the bearish outlook for Bitcoin, because we like to give both sides of the picture here as well, I create a busy. On the flip side, Bitcoin's bullish outlook may 
fizzle out as price drops decisively below thirty thousand dollars. If we look into the uh, exponential moving averages, that they're you know t saying that there is a, a bearish scenario at the moment, and also the fundamentals at the moment as well, with the Federal Reserve looking into stepping um, or hiking up the interest rates, that also affects the market as well. It's even when they consider, you know, sort of even when they announce that they're going to consider thinking about raising interest rates, that is when people start to lose their minds and Wall Street tends to sell everything. And that is when they just even consider announcing that they might be thinking about raising interest rates. So there's not actually there's nothing concrete from there. No concrete decision of we're going to actually raise interest rates. There's just a decision about a decision about a decision of raising interest rates, which is far from what's happening right now. And I think the the facts on the ground are that right now people have had that knee jerk reaction that we've seen from the past week with the stock market and also crypto as well. And things are starting to calm as well, especially for this next month. February could look like a good month for Bitcoin, in my opinion, if we do see the Federal Reserve just not announce anything for the rest of the month and just see things going on. As much as there is an uncertainty at the moment for Bitcoin and also for the markets at the moment, um, you know, I still would bet for. Uh, this particular asset class as well. And if you want to get a much clearer picture of what's happening in markets, also be sure to join our Crypto Busy VIP coin course. It's all linked down in the description below. It's through Patreon on Discord. So make sure that you do that as well. Also, looking at the active addresses for Bitcoin, this gives a good indication of the network activity for Bitcoin and people being active for Bitcoin as well, also for, for crypto, because as the way that usually, as the market usually tends to go, is that capital will flow into Bitcoin and then flow into Ethereum and then flow into the rest of the market, which is advantageous for everybody. So right now, you know, a lot of active addresses is moving up and down, it oscillates all the time because of people, you know, forgetting that they have an address available or losing interest and then suddenly gaining interest and also gaining activity in there as well so it does fluctuate all the time it does closely correlate to what happens with uh, bitcoin's price as well and so with that as well um, we could be seeing more active addresses this year because of the amount of regulation you're going to be seeing this year but also at the same time coupled with that the amount of adoption and how quickly governments can change their opinion on it as well you think about it four years ago uh, banks were calling Bitcoin a scam. JP Morgan, uh, Goldman Sachs, you name it. They were all calling Bitcoin a scam. And now, uh, if they can't beat it, they're joining it. And so they're trying to find ways to regulate it and find institutions to get involved in the Bitcoin price and also for crypto as well. So when you take that into account, when you take into account the potential institutional interest that's happening right now and also the adoption, further adoption for Bitcoin is much better for the fundamentals. And the fundamentals always translate into better price action for the long term for Bitcoin. So what I would say from that, with the amount of institutional interest that 2022 will bring for Bitcoin, for crypto, please take that into account. And I urge you to have that longer term perspective. As much as many, many people have been saying we're in a bear market right now, as much as people have been saying that, bear market in the stock market is a lot different to the bear market for crypto. Uh, crypto bear market can last anywhere for one to two years. And for a bear market in the stock market, it could last anywhere between one to two weeks. So it's nothing compared to what Bitcoin can do, to what crypto can do. And so I'd urge you to have that sort of other perspective on what the crypto market can provide. And then on top of that, where things are going to be headed as well. And once you take that into account and take into consideration that there's a lot of adoption happening this year, then you start to have that bullish mindset for Bitcoin. So $100,000 Bitcoin this year, it's still possible in my opinion. Um, but again, none of this will be you know, feasible without dips and corrections along the way. There will be dips and corrections along the way. There'll be blood in the streets. There'll be people fearful all the time. But it's only when you look back and you see the amount of uh, greed in the market and you think about, hmm, that was a short-term blip compared to what's happening right now. So do comment down below whether you agree, whether you disagree with me today. I'll be very interested to hear what you guys have to say. And I'll also be responding to some of the comments down below as well. Leave a like on this video. It's very much appreciated. And you'll see more from us as well uh, for this year. And also from beyond that as well. Crypto Busy, we're here to stay. And we're going to bring you guys the best content available. My name's been Tom. This is Crypto Busy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.